Hey guys, Anthony here, and in this video, I'll give you an overview of some of the key features in Video Express 2.0. In Video Express, you can create talking photos just like this one, where I took one of my photos and then converted it into a cartoon talking photo. You can create cool 3D Disney Pixar style video clips like the ones you're seeing right now, just using simple prompts and so much more. So let's get down to it. So I'm logged into my Video Express account. It has a basic built in video editor, as you can see here. In a separate video, I'll give you an overview of the user interface. In this video, I'll just cover some of the key features. I'll start by clicking on Create with AI in the right side toolbar. And you'll see this pop up panel. There are several features here, as you can see. I'll start with Create from Prompt. And you'll see this dialog box pop up. First of all, you can choose Landscape or Vertical. So I'll choose Vertical. Next, in this Image Scene Prompt box, I'll enter a simple prompt like a little girl riding a unicorn. From this drop down, you'll see several options. I'll choose 3D, and I'll uncheck both these boxes, and click on Enhance Prompt. Just give it a few seconds, and as you can see, it automatically enhanced the basic prompt. Next, I'll click on Create Image, and it will then take a few seconds to generate the image based on the Enhance Prompt as you can see here. And if you hover your mouse over the image, you can click the Save button to save it to the media library. Next, I'll copy the same Enhance Prompt and then paste it into the Video Action Prompt box. I'll check this box for Video Length Booster, which essentially boosts the length of the video clip up to 8 seconds. And then I'll click on Create Video. It will then start generating the video clip and then bring it back to this dialog box. As you can see, you'll see this notification saying that your video will appear in the media library once it's completed. So let me close this dialog box and then I'll click on Media Library in the right side toolbar and I'll go to this folder called My AI Videos. Here you'll see the status of the video being generated. And then once generated, you can right click on it. And you'll see several options here. So I'll click on play. And as you can see, that looks uh, pretty neat. So let me close this dialog box. You can then right click on it. And then from these options, you can choose Download to download it to your computer. Similarly, you can create different types of video clips and even create a short story video. Next, let me go back to Create with AI. And from this pop up panel, I'll choose Image to Video. And then click on Select. And you'll see several folders here. If you want to upload an image from your computer, you can go to the Images folder and then click on Upload File. And then you can either drag and drop your images here or click on Add Files and then just bring the images from your computer. Now I'll close this because I already uploaded my image. So I'm going to use uh, this Fox Wizard that I created earlier. So I'll select it and then click on Choose. So this is the image I'll use. In the Video Action Prompt box, I'll enter a simple prompt like Walking in the Forest. You can use this drop down and you'll see several options. I'll leave it to the default Human. And I'll check this box for Video Length Booster and then click on Create Video. It will then start generating the video clip and then bring it back to this dialog box. 
So let me close this dialog box. And then I'll go to the media library. And from these folders, I'll go to the My AI Videos folder. And once it's completed uh, processing, you'll see the video clip, as you can see here. So let me go ahead and play it for you so you can see how it came out. And as you can see, that came out pretty decent. So let me close this dialog box. Next, let me go back to Create with AI. And from this pop-up panel, I'll click on Stylized Character. And in this dialog box, I'll choose Landscape. Then I'll click on Reference Photo. And I'll go to my Images folder. And from the Media Library, I'll scroll down. And then I'll select this image here. And then click Choose. So here is the image. Next, I'll enter my prompt into this Image Scene box. I'll go with Convert this image into 3D Disney Pixar style. And then Black Puffy Jacket and Red Toque, which is a beanie. And from this drop down, you'll find several options here. I'll choose 3D Pixar. And then I'll uncheck this box which says Share this in the public library. And then click on Create Image. It'll then take a few seconds and then generate the image based on the given prompt, as you can see here. Next, in the Video Action Prompt box, I'll enter my prompt. I'll go with Walking in the Snow with a Dog on a Leash. I'll check this box for Video Lens Booster. And then click on Create Video. It'll then start generating the video clip and then bring you back to this dialog box. So let me close this dialog box. And then again, I'll go to the Media Library and go to the My AI Videos folder. And here is the clip. So again, let me play it for you so you can see how it came out. And as you can see, that's not too bad at all. So let me close it. Next, I'll go back to Create with AI. And from this pop-up panel, I'll scroll down and choose AI Sound Maker. And I'll see this dialog box. I'll click on Select Video. I'll open my AI Videos folder. And then I'll select this Fox Wizard 1. And then click Choose. In this prompt box, you can enter a specific sound prompt, but you don't necessarily need to do that. So I'll just leave it blank. I'll use this duration slider and then extend it to seven seconds. And then I'll click on Create Sound. It will then automatically determine what sound to add based on the video. And you'll see this notification at the bottom. So let me close this dialog box. And I'll go to the Media Library. And I'll click on My AI Videos. And here's a video that it generated. And like I showed you earlier, you can right click on it and then play it or download it. There's a lot more that you can do with Video Express 2.0. And I'll be creating separate tutorials to show you how to use many of the other features. If you'd like to get Video Express for a one time discounted price, Check the link in the description section. Well, I hope you found this overview video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.